Hello, I'm Cheryl Ochterberg, the Dean of the College of Education and Human Ecology at The Ohio State University. I'm often asked, what is human ecology? It all starts with the understanding of what a system is. Say the word system, and everyone has visions of something with lots of moving parts. Old-fashioned clocks, perhaps, or solar system, or assembly lines. Say the word ecosystems, and we immediately think of Mother Nature. Plants, animals, soil, water, and air. It's what we interact with every day, and what we rely on for survival. Ecology is the study of the ecosystem, all the pieces and parts, and how they relate to each other. What makes an ecosystem really complicated, though, is adding humans to the picture. We humans are unique in our ability to create and impose our own systems on top of Mother Nature. We have families and friendships, communities and nations, religions and cultures. Call it the vast web of human life. So let's go back to that original question. What is human ecology? Human ecology is the study of that complex web of human life. It is the study of the interaction and change created by individuals, families, communities, and nations, along with our relationships to the built environment, the larger natural environment, and the historical time period in which we live it is inherently interdisciplinary. That's why we have many different programs in our college, nutrition, kinesiology or exercise science, human development and family science, consumer science, addressing family finance, consumer decision making, and the management of the businesses of hospitality, retail, and sports. Because we focus on the whole person, education belongs in the mix too. What happens at home influences what is learned in the classroom and vice versa. That's why we're called the College of Education in Human Ecology. So now, to look at it a different way. The human ecosystem might be depicted as a series of interconnected rings or levels. Different disciplines focus on different levels. Sociology focuses on the large outer rings, the institutions and organizations within our society, analyzing issues such as class, race, and ethnicity. Psychology, on the other hand, focuses on the innermost circle, the individual, their behavior, and their mental functions. Social psychology focuses on the interactions that individual has with the direct groups they interface with on an everyday basis. But only human ecology looks at the full context, the purposeful integration of the interactions among families, individuals, communities, and larger society. We're interested in all children and all adults in contemporary society, but we especially focus on improving the lives of the city dweller and those at high risk, the poor and the vulnerable. As the famous developmental scholar Yuri Bronfenbrenner used to say, human development reflects the influence of multiple environmental systems. The developmental processes operating in different settings are not independent of each other. One affects the progress of the other and vice versa. So let's take kindergarten readiness as an example. The child comes to school with a certain vocabulary, with a certain knowledge of the world and ability to communicate that's been based on her exposure to books, music, travel, technology, television, family interactions, and all their friendships. But it also depends on their eyesight, their physical and mental health, whether they're hungry. It's all of these elements together that predict their readiness to learn and ultimately what they achieve. So you see a multidisciplinary systems approach to solve kindergarten readiness or any of society's larger problems is absolutely essential. In fact, the diversity of experts in our college is one of our greatest strengths. That's what human ecology is all about and how it meshes with education. We are Ohio State's College of Education and Human Ecology. It's a great time to be part of the college. The whole world is embracing a larger systems approach or human ecology type approach to solving problems now. Opportunity abounds, and our faculty are engaged in really exciting work. Come join the fun, be a difference maker, and be a creator of the future. Thanks for listening.